rocket caused it all. According to our intelligence, Hamas checked the reports, understood it was an Islamic Jihad rocket that had misfired and decided to launch a global media campaign to hide what really happened. They present what they say is two Hamas operatives talking about the attack. Hamas call this an obvious fabrication. Two independent Arab journalists told us the same thing because of the language, accent, dialect, syntax and tone, none of which is, they say, credible. Equally, Israel claims the Islamic Jihad failed missile was fired from here, a cemetery very close to the hospital. But look again at the video of the event. The trajectory of the missile doesn't line up with that location. Too high, too horizontal. Confusingly, the Israeli's presentation also says the missile was fired from a location down in the southwest. It can't be both. Islamic Jihad say it was an Israeli missile and they have the warhead to prove it, but they haven't produced it. I wanted to be here today. Uh... So Joe Biden believes Israel, so does the UN. Much of the Arab world and many beyond it do not. And Israel has form when it comes to war propaganda. Its claims about not being responsible for shooting dead British filmmaker James Miller in Gaza 20 years ago were widely dismissed, not least by a British court. Israel denied shooting dead Palestinian-American photojournalist Shireen Abu Akleh last year, only to backtrack later on admitting they probably did kill her. Just two examples from a long track record. And as we've seen, Israel has already attacked this hospital, and yesterday it's accused of bombing a UN-protected school, killing several civilians.